This is Abe Freetanzer from cinemadailyvest.com, and I'm so thrilled to be speaking with Susan Park about Lucy and Sarah. How are you, Susan? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good, good. I think this might be the most action-packed, crazy seven minutes I have ever watched. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Can you tell me about the inspiration for this project, and we'll go from there? Yeah, sure. Um, so the first iteration of Lucy and Sarah actually came about 10 years ago and a different friend and I had made, I think like the first two episodes, but the script was very, it wasn't like it is now. We had like some scenes and then a lot of it was improvised and then um, we dropped that and then, you know, Time goes by, surprisingly, quickly. <laughs> so here we are, cut to 10 years later. Um, and I think I wanted to keep in line with um, just really absurd comedy. Absurd comedy, but um, in the 10 years, you know, you your tastes change a little bit and you grow up. And I really, really love absurd comedy, but very grounded and subtle comedy at the same time. And so I wanted to kind of marry those two and see how the the um, combination of that can work as much as possible. What would you say are some of your influences for that kind of comedy that you like? Yeah, do you know what? For this particular one, I would say Grey Gardens. I, that's not a comedy, but then I, I think I drew a lot from that... Um, vibe and just that like weird toxic relationship I guess between them but clearly they love each other you know mother and daughter but still not I would say a very healthy type of love but it worked somehow they live together and yeah I drew a lot from that um uh this country is a great show have you I don't know if you watched it or not but it's amazing with um Daisy Mae Cooper and Charlie Cooper brother and sister duo um and there's another show called Flowers that aired a couple of years ago another British show which I, I love both of those shows um were inspirations yeah you mentioned that you had two episodes originally for a seven minute thing like this, what do you have to conceive of to, you know, for this just to be a part of it? Um, what do you mean? Like you, you, did you write more than just seven minutes? Like what else, what else exists in the grand scheme of this TV series? Oh, right. So um, at the moment we finished the entire season. So we have six episodes all done. And I would say like when I wrote it out that first episode, it was, um, a, I don't know, maybe like 12 to 15 minutes, like the page, the script was a lot longer, but uh, there was a lot of cutting <laughs> during editing. And the way that we shot it was really, um, it was like an eight person cast and crew. We all doubled and tripled as something else, maybe besides Sarah, um, who played the other sister, she just, you know, acted in it, but I wrote it, I directed it, um, I acted in it, the guy who plays Donald acted in it, he was also the camera guy, then another episode, another actor who was a gaffer for the whole thing, you know, and then our other friend Jamie, who acted in the sixth episode, was AD, like, it was just, we all, it was such a tight-knit thing, so, a lot of mistakes were made and a lot of those fixes were made in, in during editing. <laughs> so, yeah. Anything particularly memorable that went wrong that required a lot of uh, creative solutions? Yeah, uh, one that didn't need a creative solution, but one that went horribly wrong was um, <laughs> it was our first day of shooting and it was freezing cold. It started snowing. And we had gone through this entire scene. It was the first scene that we shot. And we have something tied to our faces. And we saw, uh, shot the entire, and that's the whole point of the scene. And we shot the entire scene and we're like, yes, we got through it. And then Jeremy, who plays Donald, who also does camera, was like, wait a minute. 
weren't you supposed to have that harmonica? And we're like, yeah, we were. So we had to go and do it all over again. So that was a, that was a fun mistake that we can laugh at like way later. <laughs> I, one of the things I enjoy about seeing things at film festivals is often all you get is just one image. And for this, it's a pretty stark, intense image. Yeah. Is that something that you submit yourself? And is that something that you were worried might create some sort of controversy or pushback? I was, yeah. I was actually worried. I am worried that, because, um, you know, the, 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 Themes are the first episode is suicide and the second episode, um, which nobody's seen yet, is um, called Eating Disorder. And the third one is Lucy Loses Her V for Virginity. So these are like all very kind of edgier topics and absurd humor. But I, I hope that it's told in a way that it doesn't really offend anybody. And, you know, it's coming from a real place. And um, yeah, that image is jarring. But I want it because it's so short. I wanted to pique people's interests <laughs> and, and that, you know, why not? I could either put up something that's like, you know, super subtle or something else that'll pique people's interests. So I, well, I do think that South by, I'm sure, I'm sure it will. I think South by Southwest is actually a perfect place for this. <laughs> um, I was reading that it's the Texas premiere. So this is not the first time that it's been shown, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it er, had the world premiere at Slam Dance uh, in January, which was fun. Any surprising reactions from people there? Yeah, I got a lot of like, oh no, <laughs> like in the audience <laughs> during if you've seen it, you'll you can guess. I, um, I can. Yeah, but I was just really nervous to show it in front of like a large audience. It was the first time. And so I think I was just holding my breath the entire time, but it was a lot of fun. That's great. And have you been to South by Southwest before? Do you know what to expect? Never. First time in Austin as well. That's great. I'm sure it's going to be great. Are you familiar with any of the other programs screening in the same, uh, you know, TV program? Yeah, um, I've yeah, um, for sure. There are some um, film and some TV shows that I would really love to take a look at, especially um, the Duplass brothers have this segment of like independent um, pilots that they made. I'm really excited to watch that as well. That's great. And I see that you were a writer before on Blind Spotting, which is a very cool show, which I don't I wouldn't say it's similar at all to Lucy and Sarah, but it's definitely an edgier way of storytelling. Yeah, I I love blind spotting so much, and I loved everybody on it. Um, I got on blind spotting, but I knew David, one of the co-creators, because I'd worked with him um, as an actor on a show called Snowpiercer. Um, yeah, and blind spotting is one of those magical shows. It kind of touches on the surreal and fantastical there's you know dance and spoken word and poetry and all the while it's um so moving and funny and I really love storytelling that straddles you know both comedy and drama or horror and comedy and you know can mix it up and yeah well, after I saw that interest speaking image, I recognized uh, your face from Snowpiercer because I have seen that. And when just hearing about this, you know, eight person crew, it's like, I think there were a few more people who probably worked on a show like Snowpiercer. What was that experience like? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a while ago, but um, it, the cast, so amazing. I love the cast so much. Um, it was a really tight cast. And uh, yeah, they brought, start to bring a lot of people on. <laughs> and uh, Yeah, epically different. Looking at your credits, there are mostly a lot of comedies, shows like Shining Veil, vale, Vice Principals. Do you feel that you skew more towards the sort of creative comedy as your genre of choice? Do you know what? I think I've done um, both, I guess, but lately I think it's been geared more towards comedy. And yeah, I love comedy, especially dark comedy. Do you have any roles from TV or film that you feel like 
this is something that was really special that you hope more people get to check out over the years? Um, yeah, I recently did a show called High Desert. It didn't get a second season, but I really loved that show. I loved um, that character. Um, I think looking back, there are like a handful that I look back and think, oh, even if it was a smaller character, I just loved it so much. And I love that show and the cast and stuff. Another one was probably the first season of Fargo. I I just, I think it was the first time that I was on a cast where I was so starstruck and um, I would watch the entire thing from, from front to back, even if I wasn't on it or it, it, nobody I knew was on it, you know? Um, and I don't know. Yeah. But that's great. And I, I love Fargo also. I think that's a great one. Um, what else do you have coming up besides, you know, working on this pilot in this show? Um, I have this and I'm currently working on trying to make this into a long form series. And so I'm finishing um, the Bible and writing the pilot for that. And then I'm uh, also tackling on writing a film, like a comedy film, also set in the UK. Um, and just finishing up like the last of editing this series and getting ready to put it out. And so is the idea to put out the series as is, as sort of a teaser for the long form, or that this would be it, and then you would make the long form, and that's what people would, you know, see? Do you know what? I think I didn't think that far ahead. When I made it, I was just so keen to make something of my own with my friends. And so um, my goals when we first made it, it, it's different from what it is now, you know? And so at first I was like, it'll be just fun to put it up on Vimeo. And then I started putting it into film festivals. I'm like, it'll be fun if I just get accepted into a film festival. <laughs> and then now I think I'm getting greedier with like um, just wanting things to happen. But um, at first, I think it was just really to have fun, make it and put it up so people can watch. So the six episodes will be out at some point, either late this year or early next year. And then... Just see from there. Wonderful. Well, I hope everything works out great. Uh, mm -hmm. For more conversations like this, you can subscribe to the Cinema Daily West YouTube channel. And I hope you have a very positive and affirming experience at South by Southwest. I have a feeling it will go very well. <laughs> Thank you, Abe. Thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you and chat with you. You too. Thanks for your time. Bye.